companies that wish to stay in the United States, like uh, Levi Strauss, uh, the gene maker, they suddenly found themselves in a position where they were competing with people who would be able to just simply drive them to the wall on the basis of price alone. Levi Strauss tried up until really 1998-1999 to stay in the United States. They find, uh, as recently as the mid-1990s, Levi Strauss was producing virtually all the genes that are sold in the United States inside the United States. They paid their workers good wages, they had benefits, they had retirement plans. They couldn't make it. They faced going bankrupt or being forced to leave the United States. They left the United States. And all of their workers were put out on the market. Now, these numbers on page one here are really significant. Let me just run you through what they mean. See down at the bottom where it says 2001, six, uh, 336 billion. What these are, what this represents, is the net trade deficit of the United States. How much more do we buy from abroad than we sell from abroad? And this includes goods and services. It's not just manufactured goods, it's services where we're really good. Accounting, legal, engineering, etc. But there's two more years here. In 2007, that number was 825 billion. In 2008, it'll be about 720 billion, uh, largely because we're heading into a recession. Add it all together. And you're going to have about $5 trillion. Now, what is significant about that $5 trillion? This is work. These are jobs that are done abroad that in the past that we did here. Uh, you take in 1980, this number would be virtually zero. We were doing this work here. Well, let me give you uh, another number that is really useful in in thinking this thing through. A billion dollars of trade equates out to about 12 to 20,000 jobs. That's what it means. Uh, it takes about 12,000 people, 20,000 uh, people, depending on the work it is in, to do the work. So let's just take it at the bottom here. Let's just say it's uh, 12,000 jobs. What we're looking at here is a circumstance where we're talking about about 9 or 10 million jobs that are being done abroad to make the goods we use that we're not doing in the United States. Now, we're going to have something like 2 million homes foreclosed uh, in this country. They're called subprime mortgages. They're subprime. They're called subprime mortgages because the people don't have the income to pay their mortgages. The reason they don't have the income to pay is they don't have the jobs. It's really pretty logical when you get down to it. Now, set to think about this. If we had a zero trade balance and we had these nine or ten million jobs, you'd have uh, people not worrying about the they're not going to have income next month, that they're not going to be able to take care of their family, that they're not going to be able uh, to pay their mortgage. 